Hello, Mr. Adam West. Hello, and thank you very much for your well wishes. Hello, and welcome back to another Teams Live tonight with Local Marks Fishing, ladies and gentlemen. We are joined here tonight by the one, the only, Mr. Hound Hunter, ladies and gentlemen. Mr. Hound Hunter, he's on his way over now. There he comes. There's our man, Steve, on his way over to say hello. hello ladies and gentlemen. Here hi, he is, guys. Hi, hi, campers. The amazing, the wonderful, the cat fisherman, Steve, also known as Hound Dog Hunter. We are here tonight. We're having a go. We're going to see what we can find down on the beach. You can see Steve's rods lit up like Christmas trees, They're ladies and gentlemen. not out yet. That's why they're blinking. Yeah, yeah, mine, mine's the same. They mine's... might have to come off if I keep doing that. Do you reckon? I don't know. They look pretty good. You'll know the bite when it goes. It'll oh, yeah. tear off. I'm hoping for a big one tonight. A big one. Oh, could see a ray. I'd love a ray because I've never had a ray yet. Oh, it'd be very nice. Stacky Jan, how you doing? All right. Hello, Will and Hound Dog Hunter. Brad Mark is there. How you doing? Joey mate? Out right. in a minute. Joey's coming out in a minute, guys. Fantastic. Nicola, how are you doing? All right. All right, mate. I'll see you in a bit, Steve. Right, let's. Should we get some baits in? I reckon we should, shouldn't we, ladies and gentlemen? Hound Dog Hunter's off on his mission. The plan tonight, ladies and gentlemen, is to catch a load of whiting for Hound Dog Hunter's dog, for Joey. So I'm going to be. I'm going to get one rod out for bass. But first, I've got to catch the baits. Reese Ricks, and lovely to see you there, Lawrence, the legend. Let's get some bait out there and see if we can't find ourselves a little pout or something. To uh, uh, actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to change that rig. I'm going to get a free hook out there again. Actually, it's a two hook because I took one of the hooks off, didn't I? Which one is it? This one. Right, I'm going to put a new rig on straight away, actually, guys. Get some smaller hooks because we really want to get one of them pout in there, out of there tonight. So I'm going to be fishing one rod for a moment until a pout arrives. Mr. Michael Manning is in the house, you legends. Let me go over there and change the rig quickly, guys.
Right, right, I need to catch a bait fish. Jason Brown is in town, lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here this evening. Once again for Local Marts Fishing Live. Well, Local Marts Teams, actually. Hey, my peeps, Dean is in the house, lovely to see you there. Joining us here tonight as we chuck out the first rod to get a bait fish to chuck on the other rod. Ladies and gentlemen, we shall see how it goes. Obviously keeping our eyes peeled for filberts, who I suspect will try and rob us if he can. So stupidly, I forgot my bait today. So I've got the worm, but that's all I've got. Adam West, lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here. Lee Flay is in the house and Dean A is there too. Absolutely fantastic, guys. Thank you. Lovely to see you there. As you join us here, seeing what we can do. I'd like a bass. So the hound dog hunters never caught a ray. So he's going to be fishing for rays. He's actually fishing the exact spot where I caught a ray not so long ago. Andrew Pig, how you doing mate? Lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here tonight. So we're hoping to see another ray come out for the hound dog hunter. I mean I'd like to get a ray as well but with my little worm baits I just don't think it'll happen. Don't think it'll happen tonight. We'll see what happens. Not many massive congas around in this area. So hound dog hunters' lights are flashing on the rod tips, but the rods are not in the water yet. So that's the wind affecting those. Hello, mate, you're right. Awesome. Fantastic, all lovely little chair. Did you say you've got a fair bit of mackerel then? Yeah, can I pinch a bit? Is that alright? Sure Wicked mate, you're a legend. Pound strip. Pound of strip. I tell you what, I'll give you a pound of bass per strip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cheers mate. Straight swap. I gave Hound Dog Hunter a box of squid when we got here, but I forgot my bait. So I didn't want to say to him, oh sorry mate, I'm going to keep that squid now. <laughs> Because that would have been horrendously cruel. And I had enough ragworm as well. But then Hound Dog Hunter proclaimed that he'd brought a shed load of mackerel. So it sounds like a fair swap. And it means I'll be able to get a rod straight in. The other rod straight in. If I can get a big bait on it. One that's geared towards bass. So it has to be mackerel bluey or... Well, mackerel or bluey. Mackerel or bluey, and it's going to be mackerel. Anglers are so helpful, Lee. Yes, they are. Yeah, well, we're fishing with Hound Dog Hunter tonight, so he's, this is on teams tonight, and Hound Dog Hunter, the gentleman that's come over, is the angler that we're fishing with this evening. So he's brought a load of bait with him. I've got a bit of an infection in my finger where I stuck a hook in it. I'm going to have to keep an eye on it. I hooked myself pretty good the other day and started infecting. I need to keep the wound open really. It's almost like when you get a bass spike in your finger. Toluco, how you doing? Or Toluco, sorry, Toluco16 is in the house. Lovely to see you joining us here tonight. We have one rod in, because we've all been in this, this spot at one time. Yes. Yeah, forgotten our baits. Well, forgotten the, the fish baits here. I've got loads of ragworm, which is great. Tonight's the last night that it will be any good to us because it's about five days old, but it was quality worm. So it's still alive and very much kicking. Some of it's died off, but we'll use it here tonight, chuck it in. As I say, it'd be nice to get a few whiting for the dog. 
Not nice when you get a hook in the finger, no. I was on Instagram today and a guy who's on there, who's subscribed to the channel, can't remember his name, but he was pulling down a knot on a rig and it slipped and he pulled the hook straight through his top lip. It was horrendous. Well, it wasn't straight through, it was, it, the barb was in, but it, it hadn't come out the other side. It, it was just horrendous. You just know he was gonna have a load of trouble with it. Make sure you don't turn into Willow Ascending Lin Fungitis Will. Excuse the spelling, nearly killed me. I have no idea. Oh, right, oh, the, the finger, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, a friend of mine nearly lost his finger after he got a hook in it. So yeah, I'm very much aware that it is dangerous. Yeah, he got a hook in his finger and it got infected and they had to leave a, they cut his finger and they laid like a tube in it to drip it out, so it dripped. Oh, Whitlow is sending, oh, Whitlow's ain't too bad. They're a problem with your toes usually, not, not really your fingers so much, as far as I'm aware. Well, yeah, they're caused by ingrowing toenails and that. Just realised I'd forgotten to put the power on. That was a lucky spot. Just seen it there. As we chill out on the beach, ladies and gentlemen, with Mr. Steve. I've got my yellow bucket ready to fill up with whiting for Steve. We'll see how it goes. Once the vision sets in, the poison goes straight to your heart. And no, it's on fingers under nails. Ah, oh, brilliant. Right, got you, thank you. Yeah, that's um, sepsis. So it would, be, it would cause a sepsis, which, which goes into your blood. Those are big problems. Yeah, septicemia, seps, sepsis of the blood. Absolutely horrendous. Oh, we, Joey's over there, yeah, so Philbert's going to struggle tonight. Oh, Brad, you legend. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a five pound super chat. <laughs> Brad, thank you so much. Isabel, how you doing? Hang on, guys, here comes Joey. Bradley, thank you. Absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Here comes Joey, ladies and gentlemen. This is the puppy. Well, not so much a puppy. He thinks he is. He thinks he is. This is the dog that we're catching the whiting for tonight. So he loves a bit of whiting, does our Joey. Oh, As he prepare the whiting for his dog, I would love to feed him to my boys. I just steam them. He steams them. And then just get a fork and pull the meat off the bone. Get a fork, pull the meat off the bone. You don't even need to gut them. Don't even need to gut them. You like whiting? You actually see, have pasta wrapped right around my finger cheap. to draw it out. He works with the bone disposal team. Uh, bone disposal unit. Uh, bone uh, disposal bone unit. Bone disposal unit. <laughs> Joey! Hi, Joey! Fishing uh, with Ben Isla White. How you doing, mate? You all right? I've got to sit down and rest for and put my rods out. Wow, a finger ring on my scissors. Three pain pills. Really? Oh, you not got your rods in? No. I've got to have a rest in it. Joey! Joey! When I'm like this, I just take the time. Yeah, take it easy, man. Don't don't rush. We're both crippled, mate, so it's... Trolling is what I've got. It's like a light switch. Yeah. One minute you're riding, I've got that ME look, which is that... ME, yeah. Uh, bio, bio muscle fatigue. Right. It's not nice. No, that doesn't sound good at all. Restricts and fed, says sick. Brad, thank you so much for your amazing donation. Remember, if at any time you'd like to suggest a Super Chat subject tune of your choice, we most definitely can. Oh, hang on, I've got to find the battery for where's my... Where's Philbert? Joey, where's Philbert? 
Oh, it's filled with the young one. The young one. Oh, oh, oh the young. Chuckle two, really fishing. Lovely to see you there, mate. How you doing? All right. Great to see you oh, there. I'm looking forward to tonight. You're looking forward to it. I was looking forward to it last week. Yeah, wicked. Yeah, what happened? Like, oh, I was, I was ill. He was ill. Yeah, I couldn't do last <laughs> week. Sorry, mate. I let a few people down last week that we no, had set up for the teams. Down. I couldn't do it. I couldn't even walk. I actually slept most of the night last week because there was no silly man playing his guitar on the beach. <laughs> I see it. Oh, Solar Warrior, how you doing? Hi, Dave. Dave, Sound Dog Hunter says hello. Uh, that's Hound Dog Hunter's rods in the background, Dave. They're not set up, it's the wind. Hound Dog's Hound Dog's just having a little rest. And then he's going to... Um, Put those rods in, ladies and gentlemen, it, uh, and target the rays. Well, anything really, but ray, I've never caught a ray. You've never caught a ray? Like last night, or mate last night. Yeah, Versy. I had my last ray, you see them rocks in front of you? I threw it just over past the end of the rock set. Yeah, that's what I was planning to do for the bass. Yeah, well, the rays around it as well. That's where I had mine the other day. I mean, I was fishing four bass when I caught the ray. So I chucked it just off the rocks, thinking there'll be bass all over that. How you let me know your bass was last night? It wasn't big. Two, two and Three half? pound max. Yeah. yeah, between two and three pound, I reckon. I haven't had a decent bass. Oh, hang on, hang Hello. on. Sorry, tippy tappy, ladies and gentlemen. We've had our first inquiry. We could be about to catch our first bait fish here. As the Solar Warrior joins us, lovely to see you, Dave. Lovely to see you, and thank you for taking the time, mate, to drop in and say hello. You are a legend, a legend, and we all love you, man. We all love you. George Salt is in the house as well. How you doing, mate? All right. We just had Tippy Tappy, ladies and gentlemen. A whiting would be, and again, and again, a whiting would be good, but a pout would be better. He's definitely hovering around that bait and having a look. It's a two-hook flapper out there at the minute. So we'll just leave it there, because if, if one fish takes one hook, there's still going to be another bait for it to take the other. I'm just keeping an eye on it. Ross Harrington, how you doing? Lovely to see you there. It is pulling on that rod. I'm going to give it another about five minutes and then bring that in so we can get the other rod out quickly. Diggers, how you doing, mate? Lovely to see you there. Teams live. Robert Williams is in the house as we see Tippy Tappy taking place on that rod, ladies and gentlemen. And again, and again, and again. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. He's not got the hook yet. I'm going to leave it there. He's, he's having a go at the bait. But what they've been doing, they're cheeky. They're cheeky. They bite the tails off the worm all the way up to the hook. And then when they get to the hook, they take the hook. So we just got to wait for him to peck all the way up to the hook. And we should get him. Steve Davis joins us. How dog and everyone. Fantastic. Thank you so much indeed. David Tyken and Fishing is in the house. Absolutely amazing to see you guys here tonight joining us as we see the first tippy tappy. You'll have to forgive that horrendous wind noise. Uh, we've got 30 mile an hour gusting winds. It's noisy here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. There's lots of noise. What we want is screaming ratchet. Ratchet, screaming ratchet, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we want. If you've got whiting out there, they're usually good at hooking themselves. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. Lovely to see everyone in the chat here tonight. We're just waiting for that rod to tippy tappy again, for something to come in there and have a look at the worm. Ken Saffil is in the house too. Lovely to see you there. 
as we await the arrival of some more tippy tappy after seeing some tippy tappy on there we'll give it a couple of minutes and i'll bring it in and just check the baits i mean they are fantastic at stripping baits so we'll bring it in and we shall have a look oh no there there tippy tappy again right okay so there is still bait on that hook as i suspected they're biting away at the tails and now they'll get towards the hook as that bait reduces in size keep an eye on it keep an eye on on it uh yeah dean is here ken i'm quite sure i've seen dean i think i'm not sure i, I was pretty sure dean are you there mate dean barraclough Come on, folks, smash the like button. It's great, Jan. We've got more likes than we've got people in the chat, which is amazing. That means, oh, here we go, Tippy Tappy again. We People have stopped in, left their chat, and then they've shot off to do their bits. I mean, it's amazing, really, just to see people doing stuff like that. It's incredible. Thank you, guys. As we see Tippy Tappy, there's plenty of Tippy Tappy. There's going to be a fish here soon, I suspect. And as soon as there is, I can get that other rod out. I want to catch the bait, ideally. So whatever happens first, either Hound Dog Hunt is going to drop a mackerel over, or I'm going to catch a whitey. Chop it up. There we go. That was a nice little pull there. But yeah, that's better. Hang on, this one's well keen on the bait now. We got one quite keen on the bait, ladies. And we made 100 lives! Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. <laughs> 100 likes here tonight on Local Marts Fishing. I need more bells and whistles, ladies and gentlemen. I need more bells and whistles, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, HDH's rig sharks. Yes, they are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the wind. They'll probably be the same when he's got them in the water as well. He did say that if they carry on like that, he's going to take them off. But I think they look quite cool. Flashing away over there. It gives you guys something great to look at. The rods that Hound Dog's using, the end of them... It lights up, so the rod has got a battery inside it. And the rod tips are illuminated. So he's got rig shark lights on, as well as illuminated rod tips. So in all fairness, he could take those lights off and you'd still see it. Sadie is in the house. Lovely to see you here tonight, joining us for a fantastic start on Local Marks Fishing. Uh, Ken Hayden, I'm watching most times you guys are on, love it. Thank you very much. It's great that people are enjoying it, enjoying it. That's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, ladies and gentlemen. And that's what it's all about. Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen. You join us here tonight, Local Marts Fishing Live. Well, Local Marts teams, I get confused. But either way, we love it. We love it all. We love it all. We love it all. We love it now. Oh, unbelievable. Absolutely incredible, guys. We have had a $5 super chat. From Mr. Unheaver Bog. Absolutely incredible, unbehavable. Thank you so much. We've got a similar forecast tomorrow. 70 centimetre tidal surge. I think I'll stay in the warm and watch lives on YouTube instead. Why not, mate? That's why we do it so that you people can enjoy it. You folks, the good people, can enjoy it from the comforts of your living room. I'm going to check that bait, guys. I'm going to check that bait. There might be a fish sat on it. You're 
Does it? It feels like. I don't think there's anything there. It'd be lovely if it was a tiny cow. Solent baits. Right, how dog hunters about to demonstrate the baits that he's going to be using here from Solent baits. So it's a sand deal and squid Raps. combo. They're yeah. wraps you can see there. Absolutely fantastic. And he's got one on the hook here, look. Uh, sorry. And you can see the way that's set up with one hook out top at the back, one down the bottom. Absolutely beautiful, guys. Four fifty a packet. I think. Four fifty a packet. Sweet. Deadly ray baits Was going in, in the there. Boat. Deadly ray baits, ladies and gentlemen. So my plan is to catch something on the worm bait and, and boot it out. Catch a bait fish, chuck it in. Let's see what we can do as how Dog Hunter prepares one of his rods. Lots of bass about, lots of rays. Funnily enough, yesterday a gentleman was fishing this spot and he caught a ray. We saw it on the live feed. We saw a ray here yesterday. We were fishing further up, me and Verzi, but there was a guy fishing this spot here and he caught a ray. Absolutely fantastic, ladies and gentlemen, we're waiting for Tippy Tappy as Hound Dog Hunter prepares a rod. He's preparing his bait, he's getting ready to cast out, ladies and gentlemen. He's going down towards the water's edge. We can see his light on the water there, but he is, he is obscured by the rods at the moment as he reaches back to cast, standing over the head cast, and there it goes. He casts it out into the ocean where we're hoping it will fall in front of a fish Skeet, how are you doing? You're right. You join us here today just as we're mid cast with the Howl Dog Hunter who's now winding down slightly on the line, making sure the wind doesn't take it into the surf, doesn't pick up any surface 
seaweed. Uh, Skeet, lovely to see you there joining us here this evening as we see Hound Dog Hunter returning to his rod stamp with the first of two baits which will be sent aloft into the sea. Uh, the first rod up in the air, the tallest of the two, as you can see, is the one that has been cast out first. We're still waiting for something to take my baits. As we see Steve return to his shelter in order to prepare the second rod and get it out there. Again, waiting for Tippy Tappy on custard. It should be busier out there on the whiting bite, but um, you know, it's unusual, it's not that busy. I mean, it's good, really. If it was plagued with whiting, the bass wouldn't be very hungry. But if we can just lay one out there on the ground. Hopefully we can pick a bass. Hooked into a ray off East Sneap here the first time I went sea fishing. Tried to pull it up. Oh, night bots. Sorry, I didn't get to read that. But I imagine you lost you lost it pulling it up the pier, but sorry to hear that. What a nightmare. The community is lovely, help each other all the time. Oh tippy tappy. Hang on guys. That looks like a keen tippy tappy there. Yep, here we go. Yep, definitely. I mean, it could be a strap conga reel, but it wasn't a conga bite. There we go guys, we've caught our first fish. It's a massive whiting. I'm gonna dispatch it and he's going on as bait guys on the other rod.
Right, it's a big old whiting, but now we can get the bass fishing underway. Right, I'm just going to prepare it. So that there is a lovely whiting fillet and if you had a frying pan you could literally just chuck that straight in. Just chuck that straight into a frying pan. That's not the bit I'm using, I'm using the head. Beautiful. Right, that's it. We are fully set up. Both rods are in. One's got the whitey on. One's got the ragworm. Ideally, I could do with a smaller whiting, really. That one was humongous. 
You want one you can put on hold really, but, but that'll do. Here comes Steve again showcasing the latest in these baits here. What you got Steve? What's going on? A glow beads. Mate Mar a double, how you doing? With a little hook. Wow, down a little bit, mate. If you go out a bit further. There, there, right there. Rag. In a bit, in a bit, in a bit. That's it there. Old rag, a little bit of squid to keep the worm on. Rag worm, and squid and glow, beads. Glow beads on a long. Wow. That is good bait, all good all round bait that. Yeah, can never, tried, on never that. tried this rib before, so. Oh. Nice. I, I don't make ribs no more by Little them. clip down rig, is yeah. it? Yeah. My eyes ain't as good as they used to be. No, I oh, know, fair enough. Quality. Mate, my double says good evening, hound dog hunter. Hello, mate, mine a double. I don't need that mackerel anymore, mate. Well, I've got plenty. That's all right, mate. Yeah, I've, I've caught a white in, I've put him on. One large whiting so far, ladies and gentlemen, as we move into the evening. We've got the baits out there, ladies and gentlemen. We shall see how things progress. We'll see what happens. More tippy-tappy on the whiting rod would be great. I caught the whiting, made my double. But Hound Dog Hunt is going to get one soon with the baits he's using. With those squid baits and that. Michael Manning, how you doing? You alright? Lovely to see you joining us here tonight as well. Yeah, Mate Minor Double's just caught a white. Uh, sorry, I've caught a white in Mate Minor Double. And Hound Dog Hunter's um, going to get one shortly. It's inevitable with that bait he's got. The, the little bit of squid as an attractant. Uh, yeah, that's it, Jason. Yeah, yeah, it looked massive because I held it out at arm's length. <laughs> it was big. It was a big old whiting. Thank you, Michael. Wicked. I'm glad you're well, mate. Awesome. We'll see how it progresses here tonight. You join us here with Steve, the Hound Dog Hunter, as you'll know from the chat. Steve is a long time subscriber to the channel. Good few years now, well, a couple of years, as he gets ready to clip on his second rig. I think he might get a lovely big surprise here tonight when one of them rods tear off. We'll see how it goes. I mean, this area's on fire at the moment. Literally smoke and flames everywhere. <laughs> Nick the fish, how you doing mate? Lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us here again tonight. But yeah, it's fishing really well, so we should see something happen. Oh, was that a tippy-tappy I saw then? Was that a tippy-tappy I saw then? Was that a tippy-tappy? I think it was. A lovely, beautiful little example of this one, guys. Check this out. Easy to bleed, how you doing? Look at this little beauty. It's a lovely little smooth pup. You can obviously see they're from the shark family, 
but uh, some people call them gummy sharks. But look at that, what a beautiful example of a smooth elm pup. Let's get it back in. Absolute quality, that is. Lovely little smut pup. Let's get him back in. Sweet. That's one of the beauties of using ragworm. I mean, I tend not to during the winter months, but if you want a species hunt and you've got a bit of worm, you can do so much with it, you know. Get it on those little hooks, little flapper hooks and whack it out there. You'll catch plenty of little species. I imagine we could see pout, dogfish, um, strap congas here tonight all on those little looks but of course we want that left hand rod to go it could sit there really quietly and not do a lot all night but if it goes we all know what's what can happen oh did steve have a bite there he has a light to his rod pretty quickly could it just be the wind causing some confusion? Oh no, that's a bite. Or is that Steve pulling the line? Hold up. Steve's right hand rod looked like he had a bite. With that squid worm combo, I would not be at all surprised. Not having to chuck it out very far as well. I mean, they're, I mean, they're not in the surf, but they're not far out, these fish. Chucking mine out about 50 yards, 50, 60 yards. Just over the top of the tide, I believe, we're fishing the tide going out. It will rapidly decline when it really starts going. Oh, I had some drag there as Steve picked up his rod. Oh, he might have caught it under the lip of his tripod. He was checking the rod earlier. He was concerned that he'd cast it into the rocks. So he chucked it out and he brought it back in. 
of course this time of year is always really busy when you've got the whiting it's good to have one rod out with a big bait and then one for the little one otherwise you won't get a chance to sit still unless you're competition fishing of course if you match fishing two little rods out there tons of whiting Steve's something's just blown off of Steve I'm not sure what it was but I saw the wind take it away as he puts the rod down and searches for whatever it was that blew away he's he's off up the beach as the wind blows something away he's got it back I think it was a handkerchief ladies and gentlemen a handkerchief they call it a handkerchief because you get it in your hand and then when you sneeze you go handkerchief so they call it a handkerchief ladies and gentlemen uh, we don't, I've had lots of mince pies I don't have any with me but we've had loads of mince pies donated we have indulged we've overindulged in the mince pies ladies and gentlemen we've overindulged but nevertheless there will be more mince pies no doubt as we wait for the next tippy tappy could it be another species coming out could it be the same species air piece <laughs> Yeah, no, I think it was a handkerchief. Here comes Steve now. He's coming over to say hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's a risky one. He's leaving those baits over there. Oh, you got the clutch on, wicked. Joey's in charge. Joey's in charge. Oh, mince pies. Oh, mate. Oh, you legend. Oh, no, they're not. These are claims, mate. Claims. <laughs> there you go. Look. I had a little bite on that one I just put out. <laughs> there you go, Robert. No, sorry, it wasn't Robert. No more mince pies for Bill, he's eating the others. That's it. Yes, Sadie, we're fishing for the little dog. Michael, we do have mince pies. Easy to believe. Me and my brother would love to fish with you, Will. Yeah, well, it can be arranged, mate. Yeah, it can be arranged if you're, if you're local or even if you're miles away. I've had people come down from Guernsey to fish. But yeah, uh, we arrange it through Instagram. They're posh ones, are they, Jen? Let's have a look. Oh, Sainsbury's. There you go, mate. Do you want one, Steve? Yeah. They're absolutely fantastic, mate. Thank you very much indeed. Steve's tucking into mince pies. I'm tucking into mince pies. Couldn't, couldn't let go without, could I? No. You're tucking into mince pies, guys. <laughs> Absolute quality, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, the now, £14 conga packed up and went home, Nick. No. Um, yeah. Was that on the squid ragworm bait, yeah. Steve? Yeah, that'll go, mate, that will. Um, if the manufacturers of those tip lights are watching, yeah. they should make an adjustable one for when the weather's like this so they don't keep going off. Yeah, it's hard though, isn't it? Yeah, but they can do it in carp alarms. Do they? Yeah, you have sensitivity. Oh, OK. So they should be able to do it. Those are sound, though. Yeah. And that's light. So what are those rods you've got again, Steve? Um, Shakespeare Fireflies. Shakespeare Fireflies. And they take that little battery. Oh, that's a good light. Yeah, that's that one I made, my power pack. Yeah, that's wicked. It's got the same spotlight I use on it. All I've done is put magnet. Oh, George agrees to you. I'll put magnet on there like that. Oh, I see. Oh, that's so fantastic. I'll just that wherever I want it. Yeah, that's right, mate. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Blind and straight in my eyes. I can swivel it like that, look, straight in my eyeballs. <laughs> that's our market power box. Yeah, it's lovely. Did you make that? I made that one, yeah. yeah, that's quality, mate. That is. I just want to get a lithium battery. Put it Steve agrees. So Steve says, I agree with um, Steve. George Salt agrees. Sorry, I agree with Steve. Rig Shark needs 
a slide switch for sensitive and numb settings. Good. Yep. Oh, lovely mint pies, they are lovely mint pies. They are, aren't they? Mmm. Not really. Mac, lovely to see you joining us here. MacTech666 is in the house. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Lovely to see you there. That came in nice and clear, that one from the rocks. Oh, did it? I was a bit worried it might have got drifted in. Oh, no, it should hold pretty well here. I use pretty much number sixes all the time I've just to hunt, hold. I've one of my weights, or put it down on the ground. Do you think I can find it? Yeah. Oh, you're in Portsmouth. Oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, set up an Insta and let us know. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that can easily be worked out. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, Steve. Yeah, I've dropped one of my weights. I've got, got to try and find it. I'll put it down on the ground. No, You've dropped it, it over there? No, no, I'll put it down by my chair. Oh, uh, yeah. Do you think I'll just see I think Joey might have moved it when he went for wander. Oh, it shouldn't be too hard to find. I had a smooth hound a second ago. Oh dear. Yeah, a little smut pup. And so there's a variety of species out About, there. Yeah. Okay, Jan. I didn't have <coughs> I didn't have a smut pup yesterday, so it's nice to see that there's so many species about. The pain's starting to relax a bit now. Oh, is it? Yeah. I'm, I'm pleased to hear that. The painkillers are kicking in, are they? We'll actually have a cup of coffee in a minute. Yeah. Got yeah. Yeah. You've got to look after us. Yeah, you don't have to. You're just lovely geezers, so you sort of just do. But What's it's them, um, massively appreciated. Them rigs aren't any good to you? Probably. I haven't looked oh, at them yet, mate. But they might be. I mean, I. They're, I, only, they're more for whitening that. Oh, they're oh, they're little rigs, are they? Yeah. Like whiting and flounder. Yeah. Oh, they'll be ideal, mate. Yeah. Yeah, they'd be ideal. If the tides were right, I'd have been having a go for flounder. Your rod's going. Yeah, I'm going to say it. Go. Take it easy, mate. He's all right. He's hooked. There was a good bite there. Oh, don't tell me that fish ain't on there. He was well going. That was well going. He should, I'd reel that in, check it anyway, but Steve will know what he's doing. He's gonna strike it. Bang, he does. Is there any weight on the end? We are, yeah, looks like it. Looks like there might be a little something coming in maybe. Oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. Yeah, possibly. Possibly something there. Not too sure, ladies and gentlemen. Not too sure. Yes, he's in. A pal. Oh, he's got a pal. Yep, that's a pal, mate. Well done. Oh, yeah, I'll have him, definitely. Yeah, if you don't mind. Yeah, he's perfect, mate. Yes. Oh, I'll definitely take that one off your hands, my well friend. Well done, mate. Well done, I ain't blank. You have not blanked. You won't blank tonight. There'll be plenty of species for you. What's that there? That cable. That's a nice bit of cable. Oh, a A thingamabob. A bungee strap. Bungee strap there. That'll come in handy for something. He's having that. I don't blame him. Right, let's just get this pout in there. Perfect size ski. He's going straight on. I'm going to bring that other rig in. Put him on. After the All right, wicked. I'll tell you what, if I catch a bass on it, you can have the thing. <laughs> you don't want a big one? You got no choice. Big bass. You've never eaten a bass? 
Long with me. That came off. Hey, right. the, the line got all caught up when I passed it. Yeah. Oh, your rod's going again. No, nah, it's not. Oh, is it? It's just the wind blowing the red light. So it's only two cents. It was definitely a bite. It's two cents a bit. I want it to double over. No, it was definitely a bite. Oh, well, we'll wait a minute. Yeah. It's going to be an up and down in night, isn't it?
I was upset when that pelt come off. Hey. I was upset when that pelt come off. Oh, you... That was a good, good fish, that. Was it? Yeah, well, the pelt was. It was perfect size. Oh, the pelt come off, I'll give you. Yeah, screw me. How's he wasting it? I know, well, that's what I'm thinking. Well, annoying. Andy G, how are you, mate? You all right? Thank you for joining us here. Yeah, it's going all right. I've had two fish so far, whiting and a little smooth arm pup. I've got a rod out for bass. I mean, the whiting's a deadly bait for the bass anyway. That's what we had them all on last year. But those white, those pout are just mouth size for a bass. They're perfect. But um, yeah, we'll just see what else comes in. There's plenty of pout out there. I saved the pout that we caught yesterday for when the tides are better. John, how you doing mate? Alright, lovely to see you there. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, I'm going to take those pout to a lovely little spot and chuck them in. Esther, how are you? Alright? Lovely to see you here tonight. Thank you for joining us here. John and Esther, who we've done a teams with once before guys from Guernsey. Came over from Guernsey. It was absolutely fantastic to see them, to meet them. Oh, I ate the um, the Guernsey chocolate the other day, actually. It was really nice. I saved it for a while because I wasn't going to eat it, but then I thought, well, chocolate's got to be eaten. It can't sit in the fridge forever. And so I ate it, a little pirate. <laughs> it was nice. Very nice. Doing great, lads. Thanks. Hope you're all good, too. Glad to hear you've caught. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're, we're seeing how many whiting we can catch for Steve's little dog, Joey. So that's one of the plans. I'd like to get a couple, really. But at the moment, they're not really hammering our baits. But So Steve's had a pout, actually, saying that, sorry. I've had two fish. Steve's had one so far. I gave a little bit more distance on my rod for the cast that's just gone in. The night is young. The night is very, very young. It's a beautiful night. Steve's like me, he likes to fish right through until the early hours. We'll have to bring you some more chocolate and do another Teams S5. I'd love it. I'd love that. Yeah, you'll definitely have to. Yeah. Either the best time would be sort of from March onwards, well, March, April. So well from April I'd say when the fishing picks up or with before December ends because then it goes really quiet January February come on Rod bend over obviously unless you just want to come down for a jolly and a fish but we can still hit the beaches but things start to go a little bit quiet soon with the old fishing and then we get to look forward to next year but at least it's going quite quick. I mean, it's November already. It's crazy. Soon be Easter. Soon be Easter, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, I remember being curled up in the fetal position in my bedroom floor, crying that I couldn't go out on the sib because of the wind in the summer. Uh -huh. Oh, you're right. Do you have a bite? Go easy, mate. Don't fall over for Christ's sake. Steve fell over trying to get to his rod once and broke ribs, he broke, smashed his face up. So he's not the most mobile gentleman and I don't want to see him hurt himself. He had a little bite there but it, he's going to be up and down to them rods. It's hard with the whiting because they give a couple of good bites before they hook up and then they suddenly hook up. Oh yeah, I see that left hand rod going, yeah. I think that's the sand eel and squid bait that he's got out. Just keep an eye on those rods as he looks at them. He's not reeling them in yet. Oh, here we go. Right hand rod. Looked like something turned up then and had a go at it. Could have been a line bite, mind. Just keep an eye on it. I thought there was a tippy tappy there. A tippy. Yeah, it was. It was. There's something having a look. Right, let's get ready to go. 
that's the ragworm bait for me. So that'll be a small species of sun ink. Well, I mean, it could be massive, but we certainly won't land it if it's too big on that little flapper rig. Well, mind you, it depends how well it's made. I guess we'll have to see. Something ginormous takes it. Ian the locksmith from Hull has joined us. Lovely to see you there, man. How you doing, all right? Welcome back to Local Marts Fishing Live. Teams tonight, we're on the teams. We're here with Mr. Hound Dog Hunter, who's traveled quite a ways inland. Many of you will know the Hound Dog Hunter from his catfishing expeditions. So he's called the Hound Dog Hunter. He loves fishing for smooth hounds during the summer months and he targets them oh there we go tippy tappy again so that fish has come back to have another go he's keen he knows the bait's there he's having a little nibble at it hopefully he'll get hold of that hook in a minute he's just testing it at the moment tippy tappies when he gets a bit keen he's gonna take that hook Di, how you doing? Lovely to see you there, mate. Thank you. Oh, my God. Hang on. That looks like a ray bite. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this could be a bass. Right, hang on, guys. We're going to find out if these little looks can handle a good fish. That's on the little two-hook flapper. I'm going to have to play it. I'm going to have to play it. Gonna have to play it. It could be a massive whiting, but I doubt it. Could be a bass. Here we go. I think we got a bass, maybe. Yes! Well done, Mike. You're well. Quality. Guys! We've done it again. Done it again. Steve, are you alright to see if it's on the camera there? Yes, for us? Yeah. Be careful, you don't hurt yourself there. Up a little bit, mate. Should you go back slightly? That'll make him look smaller. <laughs> Is that it there? That's beautiful. That was a beautiful shot. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, lovely. Guys. Wow. Lots of these about at the minute. Fantastic. Beautiful. Target acquired, but not on the rod. I was targeting them on. Yeah. So Steve's having this fish tonight. He's never eaten a bass. He is now. You're going to eat like a king now, Steve. He's a beauty. Beauty. Man. He's heavy, lovely couple yeah, of yeah. pounds there. Beautiful. Right, I'll just turn that light off, you alright? Yep. How about that guys? How about that? I'll just um, take it over to Steve's shelter and dispatch it guys. Two so Steve, what's your biggest catfish? Um here was the one I'll show you a picture later. How big, big was it? 54 pounds. 54 pounds guys. But I've had 140 in Spain.
Cracker, mate. Beauty, eh? That's too cracker. You know about scaling and stuff like oh, that. I used to be a fishmonger, believe it or not. Oh, did you really? When I was about 16, 17, I worked in the... I actually won um competition for gutting and scaling. And did you really? Wow. I've, I've probably forgotten how to do it now. Oh, you're all right then. You know what you're doing with it. Yeah. Wicked. Quality. They're out there, mate. Yeah. Oh, beautiful photos that come out. Wicked, guys. Thank you. Quality. Oh, thank you. I see Joey's bell going off. I keep thinking it's a rod bell. Yeah, I've only got one bell on it. Uh, oh, what, on your rods? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was Joey's bell going. Yeah, that is Joey's bell. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, I weren't expecting that on that rod. Yeah, that means anything's possible here tonight. We right. could get loads of bass here. Well, a couple at least. Uses, that weren't it? even on the bass bait. Take this off and you run. That's lovely. Thank you guys. What a beautiful fish, eh, guys? How about that? Wasn't expecting it that early, but the first two hours, well, I was expecting it within the first two hours. So another half hour, I reckon, of the best of it. But yes, we'll see. It could be fishing very, very good through the night. A hey, skeet, great start, mate. Hey, how about that? Same size as the one last night. Yeah, roughly, Jason, yeah. Well, it was a bit rounder and he felt heavier. He felt heavy, that felt like a heavy fish. The one last night was, was a bit longer and slimmer. I'll weigh it later. <coughs> yeah, have a weigh. Uh, Hound Dog's gonna give it a weigh in a I've bit. Got some scales now. I mean, I'll, actually, I'll tell you what, I've got my scales here, I'll just run over and do it. Okay, I'm weighing. I'm going to go two and a half, three. Yeah, I reckon close to three. Close to three, two, seven, five, something like that. Let's have a look. Gonna make the coffee, guys. Seven. Nice. I is thought it, he it, was bigger than that. If it was any bigger than that, I wouldn't have kept it. Yeah, 2.17, so it's a lovely, lovely size. Great eating well, fish. Well, anybody got any nice recipes for bass? Nice recipes for, for bass, ladies and gentlemen. I'm quite a good cook. Hello, is that a bite? I don't know, I didn't want to shout. I know how annoying it is. Bite right rod, <laughs> bite right left rod. <laughs> David Darby, how you doing mate, all right? Lovely to see you there, thank you for joining us here tonight nice. for what's shaping up to be quite nice. Ah, oh, two pound four ounce converted off of Digi Scales. Thank you very much. Get a bit of lemon on it. Pound dog, yeah, bit of lemon. Bit of lemon, bit of salt. Bit of lemon, bit of salt. I've got Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt, very expensive. Very expensive as we see a lovely big bite. I thought it was a ray. So I've got fish and chips tomorrow night. Fish and chips. You'll have to let us know how it goes. Do a little recipe. Yeah, I'll get a picture of it. Like yeah, send you. some photos. Man, that was on a tiny hook and Is that tiny right? rigs. Not in your way. No, it's fine, mate. No, that's absolutely fine. I'll not try this. I bought this. 
Look at this guy, Steve's got a lovely little setup going on down here. Doing the coffees, ladies and gentlemen. Steve's on the coffees. You had to suffer him a day, oh no. No. Lovely to see you back though, Dean, thank you. Thank give you it, for joining us here give tonight. Give it another half hour, I'd be, I'd be nearly pain free. Yeah, good. I'll concentrate more on me fishing then. Yeah, good, as long as you get to enjoy it, yeah. Well, one of them rods could tear off, mate. There's rays and bass all along the coast at the minute. It's almost like you guaranteed them, you know. Shush! Stop putting a, <laughs> a, 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 a box on it. Yeah, sorry. Oh, bless him, say. Still, I, oh. I ain't blank, I'm happy. You got one of them camping coolers? Yes, cookers, sorry. Let's have some more big cracking bites like last night, John. John, have you just joined? Because you've missed one if you've just joined. A lovely one. Yeah, you've missed a massive bite and it produced a fish as well. It's absolute quality fishing at the moment. Lovely to see you there, John. If you rewind back a few minutes, you'll see one of them big so old I, bites. I tell my friends I caught it. Yeah, go on. <laughs> no, no, you, absolutely. If you want to tell everyone you caught it, mate, you absolutely feel free. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> That'll be 100 quid under the table. Yeah. <laughs> no, fantastic, mate. Well done. Beautiful fish. You did well, Steve, to catch that. <laughs> I, lo I love fishing. Yeah. And it gives me enjoyment even to see other people catch. Yeah, well, I'm the same when I'm on a team. So I'd love to see you get a ray tonight. Oh, I'd love, love a ray. I don't even care if it's half a pound. Yeah. If I caught a ray, that'd be. Well, there's lots of little ones about as well. Then, I don't know if Will's told you, I caught a two and a half pound whiting at Hasler Wall last year. Yeah. Um, and that was. Lo lovely eating. Yeah, beautiful fish. Um, my biggest place is four and a half pound off Alien Island. Wow. And I had a, I'm talking about, you know, 30 years ago, I had a 12 and a half pound cod from Stokes Bay. Oh, 12 and a half pound cod? Yeah. Okay, Skeet, thank you. And then I've had all them smooth hounds I've had now. Wow. I think I had 15 smooth hounds this year. Right. In the end. Just under 10 pound again. Oh, hang on. That my whiting bait's just been hit. My oh, whiting yeah. bait. It's only little if it is on there. Sorry, mate. It's only a little one if it is on there. Yeah, it's all right. You've got a slightly slack line. Oh, right. Yeah, apparently someone said it's dropped back. Oh, right. The line's got a bit slack, but it's not pulling, so I'd... might have just been a bit of tide. Or a... What size ledge you got on there, mate? Five, you know... five, five. Oh, it should be holding pretty well. Yeah, it has dropped back a bit, Skeet. You're quite right, and the line is... Oh, hanging down, there. but it's okay. I'll go and look now. Well, it's not banging away. It's got squid head on, so. Squid head, yeah. Which is what I caught that 12 and a half pound cod on. Is that right, yeah? Was the part, was the place off the beach at Hailing? Yeah, down by the main arcades. Yeah. Oh, I know that, yeah, great. That's my favourite. Well, when I used to fish Hailing, that's one of my favourite common you know, spots. When I was in my 20s, 1920s and that. Yeah. 1920 in the 1920s. Yeah, 1920s. I'm old. Uh, well, where were you born? What 1800s? Yeah. But we used to go down there, and every one of us would have three or four flounders in a bucket to take home. Wow, Billy, how you doing, mate? Lovely to see you there. You're right. And then all the trawlers came in close. So that? hang on, not 1920. No, I'm 1963. Oh right, I was going to say. <laughs> My maths is amazing. I was going to say you well, look no, good I mean, for 1920. I, was, I mean, when I was 19 or 20. It's before both of the First World Wars, wasn't it? Me and my mate Richard, because we both in our 20s. Yeah. 
we go to Hay we go to Chesil Beach. Yeah. The fish Chesil Beach. Yeah. For 24 hours. You're a hundred years old. And then, we, and then we come and fish Alien Island on the way home. Oh wow. Awesome. My uncle had a 36 pound conger at Rinchdeep Bay. Where's that? Down near Dodle Door. Dodle Door, yeah, love that there. Yeah. That's off the shore, 36 pound. Yeah. Thank you, Sadie. Well, that is quality fish. Oh, whiting bait, seven a tappy. Be little congers having a go at that, I suspect. Then later on, we can have a fire. Hello, she's starting to steam. Nice. We well, didn't need to put so much water in, but. Happy days, how you doing, mate? You're right. Lovely to see you join us here. And Billy, oh. lovely to see Billy here today. Billy, who um, donated quite a bit of bait the other day, actually. So thank you again, Billy. Uh, Will, is that shark lights? Yeah, it is. Big shark lights. It's not ideal in these conditions to have them on because the wind is, even when the rods weren't in the water, the wind was blowing them and setting them off. They're great on a calm night and they're great here because we can see, you know, you get to see the rod display in there. Uh, even at Old Beach Comp tomorrow night at Pagham. Open boat comp Sunday, fingers crossed, Billy. Wow, that'll be a good one at Pagham. I've heard some rumours of big conger eels being caught at Pagham, you know, like really big. Well, I don't know how true they are, but apparently someone's had a beast of a conger that are there. I was born 1962, so Steve's just older than me. Ah, okay. Not something you've looked at, Will, no. No, I don't need tip lights, look. We can see my rods perfectly. When they get hit, you can see it. So I got this as opposed to tip lights. So I got a spotlight, so we didn't need them. Steve's rod skeet, what? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Steve's rods? What's going on? Steve's got his rod, he's just reeled it in. Bigger than Robbie Jim. <laughs> quite possibly, quite possibly. If the sizes are right, then actually, yeah. It would have been, it would have been about five and a half foot at the weight that it was, apparently. I think it was 30, 31 pounds. But I haven't seen a report of it anywhere, you know, so I don't know. You, I've heard loads of rumours of big congas being caught, but no, I've not seen any photos, you know. So it's it's one of them, isn't it? You sort of hear it going about, but surely there'd be photos everywhere with his aisles. <laughs> Pixie Bash, how are you doing all right? Spent the day at B Sands today, only had the one doggy but stunning beach to fish from. Awesome, Pixie Basher. Wow. Yeah, they're nice, those beautiful beaches. You know, great views. You know, where it doesn't matter if you catch so much. Uh, oh, you're off, easy to bleed. I wish all of you and your wishes granted. Have a good night, peeps. See you soon, good luck, Will. Easy to bleed, thank you, mate. Take care, mate, have a safe one. And I look forward to hearing from you and arranging something. Oh, hang on, is that a fish coming in with Steve or just a bait? No, it's just a bait. Just a bait. Keeping our fingies crossed here as we have Tippy Tappy on the whiting bait. So it's interesting that. It might be whiting, having a go at whiting there. I've got a whiting fillet on the left hand rod, the red one, and ragworm on the right hand rod. Jason Rosen has joined us. Jason, how do you do? Lovely to see you there. You join us here for what appears to be a carbon copy of what happened yesterday. I had a bass early on and then it was dead for the rest of the session. I hope it don't happen that tonight. Having a clan whiting fight, quite possibly. 
Quite possibly the whiting having a go at the whiting on the rod. So we've just landed a two pound bass. Two pound bass, smooth hound pup and a large whiting for me. Steve's had a, a pout. So four species, we've, we've landed four fish and each of them have been a different species. So there's still spe plenty of species to be caught. We've got strap conger, dogfish, rays, cod. The oldies represent DNA, absolutely they do. Absolutely. Bake in the oven, Alan. Alan, how you doing, mate? You all right? I think you might be slightly behind in the chat. You've answered a question that was asked about 20 minutes ago. So I imagine that you're replying to put the, how would I cook the bass? So you might be behind in the chat, Alan. Unless you're live now. Are you live now, Alan? Are you hearing my voice? Stay away from the light, Kelly, Aaron. Alan. You're right, Steve. I'm fine, mate. Wicked, mate. Wicked. Jungle is Once massive. Off the plate, I'll be all right. Yeah, wicked. We well, you got your little iPad. I'll show you them pictures. Oh, yeah. What's that doing? What's that? Have your old catfish in that? Oh, yeah. Wicked. Steve's going to show us some photos, guys. I know some people might have seen them. Uh, that's all right. Well, I'm the old Dean that was born in Yorkshire. Ah. There's a little catfish. Wow. There's a little catfish That's there. 13 pounds. 13 pounds. That's a beauty, Steve. Looks, you can see it really clearly on the picture there. And then, that's my biggest UK. Can you put that a little bit closer, Steve? There you go. Look at that, guys. The biggest UK corpse catfish for Steve. And what did that weigh, 54 mate? 54 pounds. 54 pounds of cats. Absolute quality, mate. Absolute quality. Colossal catfish, Steve. And then there's that fish from the front. Wow. Size of it, Brad, yeah. No. Sadie was born in Yorkshire in 1962. Wow. That was the two... Um, oh, two smooth animals. I had both at the same time. A little bit both closer, went. mate. A little bit closer. Two catfish, look, uh, for no, Steve. No, smooth animals. Sorry, smooth animals. Just to call that two they catfish. Went, both two went at the same time. Wow. Do you know? Do you remember the weights of those two? Those were about seven and a half. Seven and a half. And one was eight and a half. Eight and a half. Lovely brace of catfish there. That one was just under ten. Just under ten pounds. Smooth hound, ladies That's and all gentlemen. This year. Look at that. I miss those days, them big hounds yeah. in. Well, all, at, all at Hillhead. All at Hillhead. Yeah. Skeet was brought in Gosport in 1957. Unfortunately, I was born in Rotherham in 67, moved to Essex when I was 17. My best, wow. best looking carp I've ever caught. Oh wow, a beautiful looking carp. Look at that. It's a lovely big mirror. Yeah, just over 20 pounds. 20 pounds. That's my best fish I've ever caught. That's Pr a for prettiness. Beautiful fish, Steve. I'm going to have that blown up on a picture. Fully scaled. And then I've never caught a grass carp before. You've never caught a grass carp? And I caught that last year. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Sorry, Steve. Oh, no, go on. Go on, mate. Sorry. £33.8. £33.8 grass carp. Wow. My first ever one I caught. Done in. Classic, fully scaled. People are really appreciating the beautiful carp that you've had, Steve. Oh, the yeah. Fish. The only thing I'm good at is fishing, really. Yeah. 
a belt in grass carp, nice fish, Steve, lots of people showing amazing appreciation. Just as I had, I had a bite on the right hand rod, guys, just as Steve, there it is again. There it is again. We've got something looking at the right hand, my right hand rod. Very nice, Steve from Skips. Beautiful fish you've got there, mate. It's lovely to see those quality pictures. Quality pictures. I'm looking for me whiting I caught last year. Any big pike or perch, Steve? Me biggest pike's 27 pounds. 27 pounds. Have you got a photo? I might have on the phone. I'll have a look. No photo. Didn't happen. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. I I'm only kidding. I found a photo of it, but I don't know if I've transferred it onto oh, my camera. Oh, it'd be great if you did. Grass carp destroy your nets. Yeah, luckily my friend turned up to help me land it because yeah. they're actually nuts. Apparently, there's something to do with their gills. They bleed, is that right? Yeah, you got you got to take the time to release them. Right. You can't just put, especially on hot days. Right. Um, Yeah, I've heard that their gills bleed out and you've got to be careful with them. And, that. and I was never expecting to catch something like that. No, I bet. Raker rash. Is that what they call it, Brad? Raker rash. Have to keep them in the water, ideally. The yeah. sweet corn is awesome. You keep them in the water. There's another no more smooth end. Another lovely big smooth end there for Steve. Absolute quality. Hence, hence that's where I got my name from. Yeah, the Hound Dog Hunter. I was explaining to the folk earlier on that you do love a bit of smooth hound honey. You're a bit partial yeah. to it. I love dogfish as well. Dogfish, too. you love dogfish. Look at the, Someone's look at that got one. who, Steve? Someone's got who. Look at that belter. No, all just size. under 10. Just under 10. I had about five now, just on, literally under 10 pounds. Have you had a double though? No, not yet. Oh. Oh, you've been unlucky there. Yeah. You're very close. It's like my common car. Yeah. I'm, I'm two ounces short of a, a 30 pound common car. Oh, well, that's. And I've been short, great, short for years on it. Wow. I and mean, a lot of people say, oh, it's 30 pounds, but you're only doing yourself. Yeah. Snacky Jan, the legend, thank you very much indeed. We've all got our favourite single or mixed fish, definitely make mine a double. Proper angler, oh, Jer green. Jeremy Wade for nothing on this guy. Got nothing on this guy. Lovely bream. How much? That was nearly £2, pound, eh? £2 pound bream. That was down at Selsey. Beautiful Selsey Bill. Yeah, one of my favourite spots for bream that is. Selsey. By the old lifeboat. Yeah, there is one for Will. What's that? Oh, my spit chickens. Chickens, beautiful. I was going to bring that fire pit tonight, but it didn't need oh. it on this beach. That's beautiful, mate. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, there's that nice red mullet we had down. What a legend. Oh, hang on, tippy tappy again, Steve. It's all right, mate. Let's show that. Oh, red... that one's going now, yellow one. Sort of slack. Oh, hang on. Sorry, I've got to try and get up quick. That was a nice little bite, wasn't it, eh? Yeah, it suddenly went slack as well. How's that coffee? Oh yeah, we're boiling. We're going to rebait it. Yeah. Oh, he might be there. Oh, this might be an eel. Yeah. Ooh, that's Might be a strap heel on here. Oh no. Nothing? Yeah, something there. But... It's a little pal. Oh. I'm gonna keep him up for a bit. We don't lose it this time. I'm 
You must have had a few bass this year now, haven't you? Yeah, it's been brilliant. This year's been one of the best. Decent bass as well. Yeah, they're all over the place, honestly. They're showing no sign of decreasing in numbers as well. I um, mean, and we're catching them now on the turning of the tide. It, um, when the tides are right and we're fishing them all the way in, it's going to be mad. I'm hoping to buy a bass rod in the next few weeks, just yeah. two to four ounce one. Yeah. Well worth doing it. Then I'm going to get a little light spinning rod and then I'll just then I'll just walk the faces with it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this coffee. Seems really late and it's ten to nine. Is that all it is? Yeah. Wow. Lots of time to get into a good bass or a ray. Yeah, I might change tactics in a minute. Yeah, yeah. It's horrible because when you're not feeling too good, it, you don't want to do too much. Yeah. I'm starting to, where painkillers are starting to work now. Yeah. I'm glad to hear that. Just wanted to get out from the house, really. Yeah. Well, you don't have to do a lot, you know. You can chill there and yeah, then I'm, just enjoy it. I'm as happy as a lamb at the moment. Yeah, wicked, good. Good. Got me hot coffee. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, I might stick, I've got some baby, baby bluey, so I might stick a whole one out in a minute. Yeah, that's a good idea. Change me rig up. Bluey's deadly at the moment. It's all coffee there, mate. Oh, thank you, man. It's got sugar in it, it's a free wine. Thank you. Yeah, I've had all my, well, pretty much all my bass on bluey. One on bass. Thank you. A couple on pow. I love them all. Thank you, mate. Oh, lovely coffee, guys. Oh, lovely take on the bass. Wasn't it just Billy? Didn't he go? On the little rig as well. I was well surprised. It was actually the other rod that was for the bass, but picked up the worm, ragworm bait, very pleased. On a tiny little look as well. I was worried, because if it had been a conger, he would have easily ripped that rig to bits. But luckily it was a little bass. 
Well, some sea fishing, how you doing, mate? Lovely to see you there. Hi, Will and Hound Dog Hunter. How are you? Yeah, it's a great night already. Now we've got a pout out there as well. So, I mean, it's a very good evening. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a red mullet from Selsey. That was nearly two pound. Two pound red mullet from Selsey. Oh, did eat that. That was lovely. I bet, yeah. Apparently, that's one of the most expensive fish. Is that 10, right? 10, 11 pound a pound. Oh, that and soul. I yeah. had two that day. Wow. But the other one wants big. Two as well. Wow. Cracking red mullet. Make mine a double. And uh, that's what you call moth head. A moth head. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a proper silence of the lambs moment there. Yeah. Was that a pet moth? No, it came in the house. I had the door open and it came in and oh, wow. it landed on my head. You've been catching them on various size eight tiny hooks and just ragworm. Wow. Yeah, that's what I'm chucking out here, the last of the worm. The worm will have to be used tonight as well. It won't go any further than tonight. A poplar hawk moth. Yeah, that's it. Thank you, mate, mine a double. A positive identification on the moth there. Yeah, the rig shark lights. Are they rig shark lights? Yeah. Steve, they are. The rig shark lights do flash, guys, but it's just the wind and the tide, so they're extremely sensitive. Perfect for a flat, calm day. You want them on the greens, but on a day like this, a little bit, a bit rough for them. Yeah. All the hawk moths here, are great to see. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. That's a sturgeon or caught in France, mm. four, four, four pound. A no, 44 four pound sturgeon, just bring it a little bit closer Steve. Look at that, 44 pound sturgeon in France, quality. They got some big old fish in France, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Carp and that get really big there and sturgeon. Uh, move the lights down the rod, a bit less sensitive. Yeah, can you do that with those? I'm not sure how they work. Uh, I probably can, but yeah. I've got them cable tied on, so. Oh, they're whipped on at the moment, yeah. cable tied. Yeah, good idea that, Billy, yeah. There's a... Where's the little dog, Will? He's asleep in the tent. He's a big old carp. Lovely mirror. Just under 50 pounds. 50 pounds. He does ski, yeah, proper fisherman. I mean, he's got a lifetime of fish photos here it's fantastic six you know years all, old, six years old I've been fishing since he was six so his fishing career spans an awful long time and he's got some beautiful memories I've got pictures of fish I caught like six pound a lot of 40 pound now yeah uh, yeah right wow am I right in thinking dog hunter you can buy two types of lights flashing and non flashing yes yeah. yes yeah you can Yeah, I love me fishing. Mm. Well, I can't do it like I used, I used to be able to go pike fishing with the snow on the ground and that. Yeah. With this illness I got, it just um, gets in my muscles and everything. Have you had the illness all your life or is it something that no, developed? No, 2004 I got it. That's a 44 pound common for A 44 France. pound common carp. Wow. <laughs> Look how round that fish. It looks like a bream. Yeah. That's when I was, I was big as well, I was 26 stone then. 26 stone. I'm 14 and a half now. Dean A likes fishing for Xander and Pike. And look at it. When I said I'm two ounces short for 30 pounds, that's, a 30, that's what I was on about. Wow. How big's that one? 29.12. 29.12, ladies and gentlemen. I've had that's my old friend, I've caught that about <laughs> 20 times. Oh, wow. A very nice looking fish, a big common is, yeah. Yeah, beautiful, stunning creatures. And they don't half fight, don't they? There's a nice ghosty I had. Oh, a ghosty? Uh, nearly 20 pound. 20 pound ghosty. Wow.
Absolutely fantastic variety of wonderful fish. That's it, David's hiking and fishing. Yeah, tonight, how dog hunter, this is your life. And you've had some beautiful fish. Can't see it, Will, the ghosty. I <laughs> can't see the ghosty. Bond fishing. And that, while well, I was fishing one day for carp, and yeah. the hornets kept flying over my head. Yeah. And um, they were going into this oak tree. So oh. I, was, I stuck the camera up the oak Stuck the camera in the oak tree and saw a hornet's nest. And I reached the top 20 in Country Falls calendar thing with that. Oh wow, really? You got a top 20 position of cameras for that? Yeah. Well, time to extend the... Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a two dollars hyper super... Sorry guys, that was my bad, my bad. Ladies and gentlemen, Steve, you'll have to bear with us two seconds. Yes, Ladies and 